Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to tell you something. As you may already know, a major earthquake hit Turkey and Syria. Thousands of people have died and the death toll is rising. I shared the link in a community post. Please consider helping if you can. And also send your prayers, love and sympathy to those victims. Thank you for your generosity and kindness. So in this video, we're going to be evaluating a logarithmic expression. We have log 24 with base 2 equals x. So we're given log 24 with base 2 and we're supposed to evaluate log 4 with base 6 in terms of x. So let's go ahead and start. I'll be presenting three methods and let's start with the first one. So I'm going to rewrite the first equation and then by using definition of logs since 2 is the base I can write this as 2 to the power x equals 24. Now 24 can be written as 2 to the third power multiplied by 3 and then we can go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to the third power to isolate the 3 and write this as 2 to the power x minus 3 equals 3. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And then I'll take the second equation or expression, log 4 with base 6, and pretty much do the same thing. But this time set it equal to another variable like y. And by using the definition again, we can write 6 to the power y equals 4. And now 6 can be broken down into 2 times 3. And then, and 4 can be written as 2 squared. And now you know the y can be distributed and we can write the following equation. That should be 2 to the second power, by the way. All right. Now, my goal is to, again, isolate the 3. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 to the power y. That gives us 2 to the power 2 minus y equals 3 to the power y. We subtract the exponents because that, that's division. Now, I want to get a 3, so let's go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over y. That's going to cancel out the y on the right-hand side, and we'll end up with 2 to the power 2 minus y over y equals 3. So we got two different expressions for 3, but they should be the same because they're both equal to 3. So we can go ahead and set them equal to each other. 3 equals 2 to the power 2 minus y over y, and that is equal to 2 to the power x minus 3. Remember, our goal is to solve for y, so let's go ahead and set the exponents equal because the bases are equal. And from here, we can use cross multiplication. 2 minus y is equal to yx minus 3y. And then we can put uh, add y to both sides yx minus 2y is equal to 2. And then finally, we can factor out y. And by division, uh, you know, we can isolate the y. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by x minus 2. And we'll get the answer. So y is what we were looking for. And that can be written as 2 over x minus 2. So that is the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. For my second method, and let me rewrite the original problem. This is given as x, and we're supposed to evaluate log 4 with base 6 in terms of x. Now I'm going to use change of base formula and write this as log 24 over log 2. I use base 10, but you can pretty much use any base you want. And from here, we can break down the 24 into 2 to the third times 3. And by using properties of logs, this can be written as log 2 to the third plus log 3 divided by log 2. And then we can go ahead and move the 3 to the front and write this as 3 log 2 plus log 3 over log 2. And remember, this is equal to x. So we got an expression for x. Let's go ahead and solve for log 3 from here because that's kind of easy to solve. Cross multiplication, 3 log 2 plus log 3 equals x log 2. Put the log 2's together, subtract 3 log 2 from both sides. This cancels out and take out log 2. 
you get x minus 3. This is multiplication. And now you can go ahead and write the log 3 that way. So let's leave it at that and look at our second expression. We are trying to evaluate log 4 with base 6. And we want to do the same thing. Change of base formula. And then break down the 4 into 2 squared. And write the 6 as 2 times 3. And now this can be written as 2 log 2 over log 2 plus log 3. Again, using properties of logarithms. Now this is the expression we're trying to evaluate ter in terms of x. So let's go ahead and use this now. Replace log 3 with what it is. And that's going to be x minus 3 times log 2. And at the bottom, we can go ahead and factor out a log 2. And inside, we're going to have 1 plus x minus 3. Log 2 cancels out. And this gives us 2 over x minus 2 as the answer, as before. So that is the end of the second method. And let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. And we'll finish up with that. So again, our original expression is given as x. And we're supposed to evaluate log 4 with base 6 in terms of x. So for my third method, I'm going to start off with log 6 with base 2. Notice that it can be 6 can be written as 24 over 4. And then now this can be broken down into log 24 minus log 4 in base 2. And notice that this expression is actually given to us as x. And this is, since 4 is 2 squared, this is equal to 2. So we got the following from here. Log 6 with base 2 is equal to x minus 2. And we're supposed to evaluate log 4 with base 6. Let's go ahead and manipulate this expression. We can write it as log 2 squared. And then bring the 2 down. 2 times log 2 with base 6. And now notice that this expression is in terms of x. And this is just the reciprocal of that. So we can write this as 2 over log 6 with base 2 and log 6 with base 2 is equal to x over 2 so the answer is going to be 2 over x minus 2 as before and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye